where I'm from in Rock City, if you ain't got no seasonings, it ain't good. My name is Amina, I'm Jamaican Nigerian, and I'm from LA. Hi, my name is Selani, and I am from Los Angeles, but my mom's side of the family is Trinidadian. My name is Nia Paul, and I'm originally from St. Thomas, the U.S. Virgin Islands. So the way that we make our curry is way different. Um, there's something that is a staple that you have to put in there that I got clowned for not using last time was the green seasoning, okay? I feel like Jamaicans definitely have more of like a marinated, like tender approach to me. Um, so definitely like lots of seasonings, spices, lots of love, care. I think the other contestants will enjoy my curry goat. Uh, it's not very spicy, I didn't want to offend anyone, so we'll see. You know, this is what I like the red bean and rice. I like that. Um, I like the rice. The rice is really good. Um, I'm not sure what happened to the salt. It's one take good season. Not bad. Not bad at all. I feel like this was like an Americanized version of like a, a restaurant. Is this Jamaican? It just feels like somebody took the recipe, shipped it overseas, colonized it, and then made it again. <laughs> it tastes good, but it can have a better balance if they add a little bit more of the paprika or uh, turmeric of that pepper to make it spicier. I think this curry goat was made by Jamaican, Jamaican style. Oh, see, I was right, it's Jamaican. I was rooting for you, Jamaica. I was literally rooting for you. Uh, this is really good and I'll give it a nine. I feel like the pow the curry, like, I don't know, I feel like the curry is not curry enough. Like there's not enough flavor in there, so. I'm gonna give this a five and a half. This is like the Taco Bell of tacos, but like the curry ghost of curry. I think that they're gonna enjoy my curry goat for a fact because I know that I put my heart into it, one, and I know that because I love seasonings and I love the type of style that I make it, they're gonna enjoy it. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm, that's a little better. Okay, rice and peas. This one has a little bit more chilies in it, but not enough. Oh, there's something missing. God, what is it? This curry is giving me curry from the can, and I added pepper. Where's this one from? Virgin Islands. Wow, I've never had Virgin Islands. I don't like it. <laughs> I love the Virgin Islands, though. This store bought. Yeah. If you never tasted curry before, you would never know, and you'd be like, oh yeah, you'd pay the money. But if I tasted it, I'd be like, nah, we ain't, this ain't happening. This is not giving me homemade. It's also very tough. Something's missing. I definitely don't want to eat it anymore. That's for sure. But it was a good try. On a scale of one to 10, I would give it like a six because it was better than the last one but it's still just not really doing it for me. Um, it was a little dry. I like the texture, but the spice was too spicy and not flavorful enough, so that's why I'm gonna give it a six. I'm rooting for myself here, but I think that the Jamaican curry might give me a little run for my money. Okay, the rice looks old. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm. Mm. It, it looks decent. It looks decent. Like maybe she's made this or he has made this um, a couple of times. 
by a couple hundred times. Maybe this is the second time. A little crook. Yep, it's too tough. One hour and 45 minutes crock pot. Um, she could have definitely used like a bouillon. Um, there's like some sort of salt that's missing. And a lot of pepper. I mean, the rice, uh, no, is a no for me. I think this person is maybe a bit far removed from their Caribbean heritage. Maybe their um, great grandma is Caribbean or something. Um, I'm not entirely sure why I have basmati jasmine rice with my curry goat, so. I think this one is the Trinidadian one. I think this is it. I have a large piece of goat meat stuck in my tooth because it was not tender. And the rice is white and um, it just needs a bit more seasoning. The meat has to fall off the bone and right now we're dealing with, we're, we're fighting a war. This one, this one need work. They have potential, but they need work. I give it a five for the potential of it trying to be a good curry goat, not better than mine's, but it was trying its way. It was almost there. It just missing some seasoning. It needed a little bit more time to season and it needed to be in a crock pot so it could be falling off the bone. I would rate this curry goat a five because it's edible. I feel amazing. I can't say that I'm surprised, you know? My dad never fails me. Better luck next time.